song for the word. Come on, somebody. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts him. I was helped. My heart rejoiced. And I thank him with my song. Psalms 28, 7. Be blessed. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I decided to take a break from creating content. Honestly, I didn't think it was going to be a whole two weeks, but I needed that break. You know, with everything that's been going on, I needed to talk to God. And, you know, I took my time and just isolated myself and prayed a little bit, cried a little bit, and did a little bit of both. So now we back, baby, and we need to get this hair situated. Look at this with my hair back and forth. We need to whip it into a stock. We are going to be having a me time for y'all. Well, me time. Um, me, me time, but y'all going to be watching. Anyway, I'm going to be showing you guys four different type of ponytail hairstyles that you can do. That's very easy for anyone that is a beginner when it comes to styling their own hair. But first and foremost, I am going to start off with this leave-in honey conditioner when i tell you guys this leave-in conditioner is by far the best leave-in conditioner i've ever used and that's on period <laughs> this leave-in conditioner did does wonders to my hair honestly it makes my hair feel so soft you gotta go get it sis go get you this leave-in conditioner so what i did was i sectioned my hair this first hairstyle is actually inspired by yara shahidi i think that's how you say her name from grown grownish and also blackish i absolutely love her style she probably wore this like a long long time ago but i recently just saw it and i was like i gotta try this you feel me so first thing first we are going to use the cream of nature this is their twist uh cream and when i tell you guys this cream does wonders to my hair i fell in love with this cream i recently just started using it and it's by far the best hair cream ever i'm using it as a replacement for gel um because i'm going to be doing four different hairstyles i don't want to add gel just well <laughs> i'm going to use a canter but normally when i do ponytail hairstyles i normally go for the got to be gel and i add other gels on top of it but because i'm going to be switching in and out with hairstyles um, i'm not going to settle with you know my got to be gel until the end because that's the hairstyle that i'm going to wear throughout the week so yeah so that's just a disclaimer in case it looks sloppy sis don't come for me okay so yeah so what we did was we basically sectioned our hair like in the mohawk type of way um i wouldn't necessarily call this a mohawk but it it, it kind of resembles a uh frohawk i don't know but it's one of those hairstyles so yeah we did that we went in and we decided to use the Lulu Tress um, Crochet by uh, Sensation. And it's by far one of the best crochet I've used and it's affordable. I got it for like, I think $4.99 or $3.99. And what I wanted to do was I wanted to make it look very, very natural. So I brushed out the curls from the crochet and then I took my hair knot or well, hair tie and I gave it like a nice little bun because the hairstyle was basically like a bun. But it looks a lot better if you have very thick natural hair. But because this is not at the inches level yet, we had to use, you know, full curls, which was the crochet hair. So yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and use my toothbrush. And I'm just going to go ahead and smooth everything out with my edge control brush. And we're going to do the same thing with the back. And we're just going to fold that right there. Tie it with a hair tie. Just to give it that thickness. I decided to fold the hair. Because I ran out of that hair in particular. And I like how it looks natural with my actual hair texture. So we're just going to fold that in the back. And then we're going to go ahead and use extra crochet hair. And then we are going to tie that crochet hair just to add a lot more volume because you know that last crochet didn't have that much volume and then i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to use that rubber band i'm going to give it that oomph you know and i like my i don't know if it's just me but i like my edge control brush to well toothbrush to be very very hard and this toothbrush in particular was a new toothbrush so it wasn't that hard but we still made it work and this is the hairstyle. Next, 
Okay, so my next following, look at that. Boop, bam, 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 bam. <laughs> oh, sorry. Too much TikTok. But anyway, next hairstyle, I am going to be doing a ponytail hairstyle. This one, right? Well, everything is ponytail. But yeah, this one right here is actually inspired by Tracy Ellis Ross. And it's going to be a straight up braid it down you know what's up with it ponytail so yeah this is how it looks bam we are done mm -hmm. i'm just kidding so for this next hair i'm gonna be using the instant ponytail wrap was it the instant pony wrap by Sensation sensational um this is actually my first time using the sensational version of the instant wrap pony um i've used the instant wrap ponytail before from other brands and they were by far the worst because those brands were actually very synthetic-y and when I say this one right here hmm sensational you did your thing okay it really feels very soft and it was really easy to work with now as far as hair texture you can use whichever hair you prefer but for me I wanted to use a type of hair that's closer to my hair texture so that's what we went went for and i decided to add my own little remix to the hairstyle you know me i like to do the little trigger 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 afi elizabeth styles i don't know that was that i don't know but that sounded good in my head but yeah so i decided to add colors and i like colors so we went in and we added some colors that i bought from the beauty supply store and i used a bobby pin just to secure the band and then we're going to go in and we're going to add some designs. <laughs> we're going to add some designs, okay? Some designs. And yeah, so I felt like I needed more colors. So we went in and we added more colors because we are a color type of gal. And uh, yeah, so the look itself looked very chic, very simple, very office vibe type of look. And it's such a very everyday type of look as well. And oh, <laughs> I don't even think I did that right. But anyway, next style, I'm going to stay with the same, you know, ponytail style. But this time around, this one right here was inspired by Lapita. I think that's how you say her name, Lapita. I absolutely love her. This ponytail was inspired by her, okay? So I decided to use kinky hair something that's not my hair texture because i wanted it to look like a blowout type of look um her hairstyle and the way she did it didn't look like a blowout it looked like you know you know it looked it had a little little mix to the little curls or whatever but for me i wanted to have like the blowout look so i decided to go completely kinky and brush it out a little bit get my hair with well run it through my fingers you guys see what i'm doing Next, I'm going to go in and I'm going to add some designs on the look. So, yeah, I'm going to use this yellow string right here and I'm going to go over and under, you know, over, under, just do repeatedly. And um, that's what we did. That's what we're doing. So as far as the hair, I used one pack of Marley Crochet. Was it Marley Hair? and um, one pack really came in handy i was kind of concerned when i first bought it because i didn't know if it was going to come out really thick but it came out looking pretty darn good and then what i'm gonna do because i look <laughs> cute i'm going to cut it yes we cut it and um yeah cutting it really does give it that really well done my good faithful servant um look I absolutely love it. So because I am a very complicated client, I am going to go ahead and add volume to this ponytail. So one way I did that is by wrapping some braiding hair around it. And then I went back in and added my designs looking like, <laughs> I don't know, but I like you. And yeah, so this is how the hairstyle looked like. Well, after we put some designs on our forehead or so and this is how it looked like ok 
go ahead darling take your picture okay next i'm going to do my final and um this hairstyle right here i'm using the got to be gel because it's going to be my hairstyle for the week and yeah i'm going to use the yellow got to be gel and then i'm going to put in a ponytail and like what i like to do when i do my ponytail actually is i like to go back in and i add um edge control depending on what i'm trying to do my hair is bougie y'all you know we bad and bougie over here so my hair likes to let it be known i'd be like how you lay so good it'd be like don't worry about this real hard <laughs> but anyway next we're going to add our design uh, we no longer call them baby hair we call them designs and yeah we're just gonna make sure that our hair is flat and ready to go normally i like to use a rat tail when i do my ponytail just so i can like you know comb the tangles down because brushes don't work for me but yeah so we're gonna go in and we're gonna go back with the sensational ready instant wrap and ready ponytail and um yeah we're just gonna do a low ponytail this hairstyle was actually inspired by gabrielle union i loved the hairstyle and when i first saw the hairstyle i was like this hairstyle looks so good i need to try it <laughs> and that's what we're gonna do so i'm going to be using braiding hair um so yeah so we're gonna do we're gonna use that braiding hair just to secure the ponytail so let me tell you guys a story you know you want to hear a story stop acting like you don't want to hear a story let me tell you a story so one time i was at the mall i decided to go to the mall and i did my hair style really cute i had like these faux piggy tails you know inches or whatever and i got back home and i was getting ready to take a picture in front of the mirror and i noticed that my left piggy tail was missing i said now wait a minute what i know you lying come to find out that the piggy tail one of them fell while i was at the mall whoever got that piggy tail got some really good hair i'll tell you that <laughs> But yeah, secure your hair, okay? Secure the ponytail. So that's what we did. We secure the ponytail. This time around, I ain't falling off. So what we did right here was we twisted the hair. I started off with the braiding hair. And then as I started twisting it, I started to grab the ponytail hair as well. So we're just twisting it. Just keep on twisting. Baby, you're going to be twisting for a long time. Um, because this is a 32-inch hair, I didn't want to twist all the way down. The one that Gabrielle Union had on her hair was, I think her inches was probably like 14 inches. So, yeah, so that's why hers looked a little bit above and beyond. So, anywho, you guys know me. I like to do the Affy remix to everything. Chugga, 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 Affy Elizabeth remix. So, um, don't question me. <laughs> what this style right here was, I just decided to secure the ponytail because after what happened to me at jc penny i was like no ma'am mm -mm -mm. nope so we decided to secure the ponytail by just adding the braids at the back and then we went ahead and did our little design and so uh, we look cute you know me i'm always cute <laughs> sorry uh, i am gonna leave the link to the ponytail down below if you are interested or trying it out with that being said thank you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys